is a, a prospective analysis of the effects of Secubitril Valsartan, a widely used heart failure medication, uh, on cardiac remodeling. Uh, so the reasoning for the study was that although we recognized that uh, Secubitril Valsartan, a drug used for patients with heart failure and reduced ejection fraction, reduces risk for heart failure, hospitalization, cardiovascular death, and other outcomes, um, the mechanism of benefit remained really uncertain. Uh, in fact, uh, there, were, there was an open question as to how exactly this medication exerted its benefits. So to study this, we actually looked at how the drug seems to affect our patients when we initiate it. And one of the things that we saw um, in early studies is that there's a rather significant reduction in N-terminal pro-BNP concentrations. This is a, a biomarker of myocardial stress and higher concentrations of NT pro BNP are associated with risk, but, but mechanistically, the reason why these concentrations are high in our patients is because their ventricles are remodeling. So their ventricles are becoming larger and weaker. It was our hypothesis that um, the, these NT pro BNP concentration reductions seen in patients treated with Secubitril Valsartan were related to reverse cardiac remodeling. So to study this, we took 800 patients with reduced ejection fraction heart failure, initiated them on Secubitril Valsartan, did an echocardiogram at baseline six and 12 months, and during the year's time of treatment, we sampled their blood frequently for measurements of N-terminal pro-BNP. One other very important thing that we did in this study was we included patients that had not previously been studied in the Paradigm HF trial, including people with new onset heart failure, people not taking an ACE inhibitor or angiotensin receptor blocker before starting Secubitril Valsartan, people with low concentrations of N-terminal pro-BNP, as well as people who could not be titrated up to the target doses. So the idea was to try to fill in some mechanistic understanding and also fill in data on patients where data did not yet exist. So, so we designed the study to look at certain patient populations that are not currently being treated with Secubitril Valsartan in part because of the way that the Food and Drug Administration approved the use of the drug, number one, but also how the guidelines are written. So for example, the guidelines state that patients with new onset heart failure should be treated for at least a month with an ACE inhibitor or angiotensin receptor blocker. And we, we wish to really examine whether that absolutely is all that necessary. So we studied those patients, treatment naive patients, um, you know, with the goal of really trying to understand, you know, uh, how, number one, the drug is tolerated, but also how it affects the cardiac performance in these patients. So we initiated Secubitril Valsartan and up-titrated. Uh, Two-thirds of the patients got to target dose, but a third did not, so that's important. So we were able to study those patients who didn't reach the highest dose of the drug. Within two weeks of initiating the drug, we saw a rapid sustained reduction in NT pro BNP concentrations. Really, by two weeks, most of the reduction that we saw had already occurred with an, a maximal 37% reduction in NT pro BNP out to a year after initiation and titration. From baseline to six months, we observed uh, a significant correlation between the reduction in NT pro BNP and changes in cardiac remodeling parameters. And from six to 12, so across the whole year, that relationship became even stronger. So, given the fact that NT pro BMP went down and there was this very strong relationship with cardiac remodeling, with the reduction in NT pro BMP on the echocardiograms, we saw from baseline to six months an absolute 5% increase in ejection fraction, and by a year there was an absolute 9.5% increase in ejection fraction. Along with this, there was reverse cardiac remodeling with reduction in left ventricular volumes, reductions in left atrial volume, and improvement in diastolic function. So these data really provide useful information about how the drug exerts its benefits. These reductions in NT pro BNP are essentially reflecting the reverse cardiac remodeling that comes along with the drug. Importantly, the subgroups of interest, patients that were new onset heart failure, patients that had lower concentrations of natriuretic peptides before treatment, as well as those not reaching the highest doses of the drug, all had similar, if not greater, reverse remodeling, really implying that patients where there was some degree of uncertainty about how the drug works um, benefit just as much. And that, I think, is really useful for clinicians to understand.